This is John Giever from MedPage Today at the American College of Chest Physicians meeting in Philadelphia. Despite the wide usage of long-acting beta agonists in COPD, safety questions about these drugs continue to swirl. Dr. Nick Hanania of Baylor College of Medicine in Houston reported here on one attempt to answer them. Well, we wanted to check this drug. This is a, a nebulized solution, a long-acting beta agonist, since there is always a concern about uh, the safety of beta agonists, but more so in asthma than COPD. We wanted to look at the safety of this drug uh, in a nebulized fashion in patients with COPD over six months. And we compared it with this, another standard beta agonist for motor dry powder, which is for the uh, over six months uh, to look at whether safety is comparable or whether there are differences in safety. We also wanted to know whether the effect uh, of it over six months wears off or because there's been some uh, talk about possible loss of effect or tolerance. We also wanted to look at exacerbations over six months to see if there's increased exacerbation or any signal of safety. But at the same time, secondary endpoints in the study, we wanted to look at lung function as well. Um, and symptoms of the patient. Uh, so patients were asked to uh, key in their symptom diaries. So that was the main purpose of this study. And so what did you find? Well, we, we studied uh, more, than, uh, more than 500 patients in, uh, in uh, several sites in the country. So this was a multi-center study, prospective. And basically we looked at two dosage formulation of this drug. One dose that is marketed 50 microgram twice a day. But we also looked at the double the dose, which is 25 microgram twice a day, which is not approved uh, or licensed by the Food and Drug Administration, and compared it to the regular form of 12 microgram twice a day. And the, the baseline characteristics of the patients were very similar. Um, no difference in baseline characteristics. But we concluded and actually we looked at all the indices I mentioned before. There was no difference in side effect profile, including cardiovascular events, exacerbations from COPD between the three dosage formulations. Additionally, there were no differences in the incidence of COPD exacerbations over six months. And the lung function test remained stable, improved obviously initially, but did not decline, or there was no loss of effect, comparable with its comparator for motor oil and dry powder. So we concluded that our for motor oil, which is the racemic, uh, which is the enantomer uh, 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 or the asthmatic for motor oil, nebulized uh, is safe uh, and is comparable in its adverse events to uh, the dry powder for motor oil, which has been used for a long time. In the country. And, and any sign of the problems that were seen in the notorious SMART trial? No, we did not. But again, the, the population here are COPD patients, and that confirms the safety of long active beta agonists uh, in COPD. Uh, and, and again, this is a nebulized product compared to dry powder device. Uh, and again, the population is a bit different than what the SMART shown, uh, and uh, again, it confirms over six months at least the safety of the drug, even with the double the dose of what is marketed out there. Would this support taking the black box warning off for the, of this, <laughs> this product or similar products uh, in COPD? Well, the black box, yes, it has, but the thing, the black box warning has been put on uh, all products, including those marketed strictly for COPD. And we have to mention that r motorol is only approved for COPD. Yet, uh, I think the cautionary uh, remark is that some physicians may prescribe it for asthmatics, and that's why the black box warning is there. Uh, it supports the safety of long acting beta agonists when used alone in COPD. Uh, but in asthma, of course, it's a different story. These drugs, if, they, if used in asthma, they always have to be used within heads. I'm John Giever, MedPage Today.